Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Saturday, Super Saturday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm really excited about this day because I feel movement and change and I feel as we move towards the new week, there's going to be lots of power changes, communication, decisions, movement, doors opening, great things ahead and you're going to feel this energy. So you may be sizzling with excitement today or you could be sizzling with passion and desire. So channel that into something positive today, channel that into something you enjoy, something you love to do. So this is a great day to spend with others, but also to spend with yourself, connecting with your own self, replenishing your energy, feeling at ease with things. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Feminine Oracle today. I'm also going to bring in the Divine Feminine Illumination, and I'm going to bring in the Nature Blessings deck, and then I'm going to read us today's message from the book. So... Thank you, angels. What do we need to know today? We've got one card coming out and one card sticking out the deck. So the first thing we've got coming out is the diamond-hearted Dakini. And this says, I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. So this is a great day to overcome the darkness. And I feel that this is how you are going to be feeling today, excited, revitalized, you're going to feel reborn. It's like you're leaving the past behind. It's like you are finally leaving behind all the struggle and the stress and the fear. And yes, we have good days and bad days. And this is an ongoing thing we have to do to overcome the ego. The ego is always there. We have to make the conscious choice daily to overcome the ego and focus on the good. But this is about realizing why we go through the dark times and what the darkness does for us and how it grows our soul and makes us stronger. So we're able to see the light in a more powerful way. And I'm seeing this kind of pink energy here as um, like an umbrella for a shielding. So even though this is some kind of pink cloth or, you know, pink scarf, I'm seeing this as an umbrella shielding you, shielding you from harm, pain, realizing that whenever you've been through dark times, you've actually been shielded. So you have been protected and watched over during those times and you've been able to face your own ego and your own beliefs to feel free, to follow your heart and your intuition and your own truth. And we've got the Divine Mother and I feel this is very much connected with Mother Mary being around you. You may be connecting with Sarada Devi or, you know, whomever you were connecting with. But I feel this is the energy of the Divine Empress, which is who you are. So this is the embodiment of who you are, knowing that unconditional love exists within you. And the presence of love is the absence of judgment. And that means let go of all the struggle around the when, the how, their way of doing things, release the fear around that and... You know, looking at our twin thinking they're doing it wrong or they should be doing it in another way. Unconditional love does not demand its own way or have conditions because it's something pure and it's something that exists within you in this moment and this love exists within you in this moment. So it's about remembering that you and your twin are one and whatever you're doing or saying about them or towards them is really also what you're doing or saying towards yourself because we treat them how to treat us by the way we also treat ourselves. So let love fill you up today and be all around you, bursting out of you, feeling free. So I'm going to bring in the illumination card. So thank you, angels. Wow, jump straight on the camera there. So the message is believe. Believe. Wow, we've got a few here. Amazing. So as I grow on my spiritual journey and I change my perception... I also grow to understand that for me to see, I have to believe first. So the angels are saying that you are a believer. We have to be believers on this journey to believe in magic, to believe in miracles, to believe in the power of this love, to believe that there's something bigger than ourselves watching over everything. And there is always a bigger picture and always a bigger plan. So as you grow on your spiritual journey, that means the more you wake up, the more you understand, the more you realize why you've gone through the darkness and the pain, then you're able to change your perception and view it in a new way. And you grow to understand, which means it happens over a period of time, that for you to see the results you seek, you have to believe in them first. 
You have to see it to believe it. And that's how we manifest. And that's certainly how we receive. Understanding that life is all about give and take. And that the universe is always working to give you all that you desire. As long as it is for your highest good. And that's why things take time or things may not go to your plan. Because they're always going to God's plan. Give to others and open your arms to receive all that is meant for you. And say to the universe, I am balancing giving and receiving. I am a believer. I am believing in my truth. So when we understand that this journey is about give and take, we understand that it will happen at the right time. The energy when the masculine can give to you everything that you give to them. So you're not constantly over giving or over trying or feeling drained. So find peace with where you are by taking your focus away from the outside world, the 3D world, the karmic situation, social media, the things going on. You can then shift your focus inwards, focusing on self-love, healing your life and letting go of all that no longer serves you. You can release burdens and gain inner peace. And use the affirmation, I have peace within. So all the burdens that we carry around, all the struggles that cause shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain, when we release those to heaven in exchange for peace, we feel at ease and we feel healthier and happier and more in control. And we do all of this through focus. I'm focused on my inner world. So the message today is focus on what's happening in your inner world. I call it for my world, Lizland. What's happening in Lizland? I don't need to be watching the news or paying attention to anything outside of me. Just what's going on in Lizland? What's happening with me? And when you do that, you take the attention from all the fear and struggle and all the negativity and you focus on the peace and the positivity. So taking your focus away from the outside world and moving away from negative people and situations will help you to focus on going within and bringing positivity into your life, into your world, when you focus on your inner world. And magic, that brings magic in when you believe and feel and trust the universe and can call on the angels and connect with them, you feel free. I am open to seeing and believing in the magic that the universe is constantly showing me through the signs, the synchronicities and the endless miracles that occur in my life every day. And I love how we keep getting the word coming through in these readings, miracles, because miracles are coming. Miracles are happening. Change is God. I am believing in the magical universe. And the signs show this to you. Two motorbikes have just gone past. And when we see motorbikes, it's about speed. When we see bees, it's about communication, miracles. When we see the stag, it's about the promise of union. So we're going to connect with the Nature Blessings deck to see what other signs you may be seeing. It jumps straight out of the deck there. Rainbows, wow. So today you're either going to see a rainbow in your virtual world. You could see it on a picture. You could see it on a cup. You could see it on a t-shirt. You could see a rainbow within a film or you could see rainbow lights or you may actually see a physical rainbow. And they are giving me showers today. They're showing me an umbrella. So there could be a shower storm, you know, like there could be a rain shower and then the sun comes out and then there's a rainbow or even a double rainbow. Because the rainbow is the symbol not only of protection, but at the pot of gold, pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. And it may feel cold right now, the same pot of gold. So you may feel your pot of gold is cold, like it's never going to happen or it's impossible. But it absolutely is. And everything that's happening to you is happening for you to grow you, keeping you strong. So that rainbow is reminding you of protection. You are in the process of evolving and transforming into a higher state of being. The colourful miracle, there's the words again, miracle. This colourful miracle from nature has shown up to remind you to have faith and trust in your journey and the path that you have chosen. Very powerful. And I remember reading in the Bible or being told or years ago that a rainbow is a symbol from God that he's never going to flood the land again or he's never going to let the you know, like like when we had that huge, obviously, I say when we did, you know, in history, when there was, you know, the great flood and there was 
not Noah's Ark and, you know, all those things happened. The rainbow is a symbol that those things aren't going to happen. And obviously I know we deal with floods and we have terrible disasters in the world and tsunamis and all these things happening, but the world will not be destroyed by water. You know, there's a lot of people out there that believe the world this time will be destroyed by fire, whether it's nuclear war or whether it's, you know, wildfires or, you know, an explosion or something else. But you've got that promise from heaven with the rainbow that you're safe in your world right now. Think of your name in your world, like in my world, it's Liz world, you are safe. And then when you expand that to you and your twin, like me and George in our world, you expand that to you and your twin in your world, it's safe. And you don't let anything knock you down or bug you or trigger you because you know you are stronger than anything that comes your way because you've got the armor of God and God, the creator, the universe, the higher power, whomever you believe in, would not give you anything that you can't handle. You can handle any challenge, any obstacle and any darkness or dark times you're going through, this too shall pass and it helps you to find the light through the darkness. So I'm going to bring in the beautiful daily guidance book. So what do we need to know today? So the message today is erase guilt from your consciousness. Very powerful. And this is the number 112. And I feel these numbers can correspond with the message. So if you're seeing 112 today or you're seeing it's two minutes past 11 on the clock or you're receiving that number, it's reminding you to let go of guilt. And when you do something for another person out of a sense of guilt or a sense of obligation, you end up resenting that person. And this feeling will rob you of joy, of the joy that you'd normally feel when you help someone else. It can be a blinder that blocks the light within your relationships. And we can do that when, you know, we feel like we have to reach out or we have to help or we have to be there at that specific time when we want to feel free. That's why we angels are working with you today to erase guilt from your consciousness. This emotion differs from a sense of responsibility, which is based on caring feelings. The key is to help others from a place of love, not out of obligation, because the former is light-hearted, while the latter is drudgery. Which do you think is healthier for you in the relationship? Before you do anything that you don't want to, stop for a brief moment and ask yourself, what do I want to do today? Is this a yes for me or is this a yes for someone else? Is this a yes for me or a no for me? Put yourself first and ask the angels for help. We can lift your mindset to the level of love so you'll either find a comfortable alternative to performing the task in hand or be able to accomplish it with a joyful heart. So the message today is remember you don't need to do anything because of guilt or because of fear. Ask your angels to help you if you ever feel resentment or dread when facing a task. And you'll feel that within your gut instinct. You know, your gut, your body will speak to you. And then adjust your thinking, your emotions and the entire situation so that what you do is a perfect demonstration of love. So demonstrate love today. You know, feel at ease with where you are. Do things that you want to do for you. Not because someone is forcing you to do something or making you do something. Do it for you. Think about your heart and soul because you are divinely protected. And that rainbow is going to show that to you. You may even see a rainbow in a cloud formation. Or you may see a stag or a rabbit or a heart or some other symbol or synchronicity or sign in a heart formation in a cloud, you know, they're showing me that heart formations in clouds, things in clouds, because he feels like there's going to be some blue skies around today, even if there's darkness, or there's a rainstorm, or something's happening, remember, the rainbow and the blue skies can exist in your heart, I hope this helps, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.